It has been a year since I went to Wuhan to report on the outbreak in January. I would say this pandemic has changed China and the whole world dramatically. One year has passed since I went to Wuhan, but I still can't forget many things that happened there during the days in lockdown. As the festivities of the Chinese New Year begin, two Beijing journalists head to Wuhan to cover a story about a new type of pneumonia. The first to travel is Yang Jun. I am an investigative journalist. It's the morning of January 19, when my boss calls me about the virus outbreak in Wuhan. Most Chinese people are traveling to their hometowns to celebrate. Days later, Chen Wei took her flight to Wuhan. People are busy preparing for Chinese New Year. There are lots of people in Beijing airport. Many booked their flights in advance and couldn't change last minute. Yang Jun and Chen Wei are not the journalists' real names. Their reporting was censored by the Chinese government. Their videos and notes were smuggled from China and obtained by Al Jazeera's investigative unit and have never been shown before. Their stories begin three days before lockdown. My name is Yang Jun. I am an investigative journalist from Beijing. I am told to go to Wuhan to get more information about the virus the real number of infections, the hospital situation there, and the origins of the virus. On the train, some people have not heard any news about it. Passengers are not wearing masks. My name is Chen Wei. I'm a journalist from Beijing. Wuhan authorities first announced an infected case at the end of December 2019. Like most people, I had no idea about the virus and thought it was the common flu. Information about the outbreak is hidden in secrecy and very difficult to get. Yang and Chen's identities are concealed for their safety. Their reports are read by actors. In the last two or three days, the Wuhan Health Committee has been reporting continuous rising numbers of infected cases. This shows that the virus has spread. In China, cases of infection are detected outside of Wuhan. Three patients are confirmed in Guangdong and Beijing. Wuhan Health Authority said that the few cases of infected patients all worked and lived inside Wuhan's Huanan seafood market. Yang's plan is to investigate the origins of the virus in the seafood market. When I arrive, people seem to have no fear or concern about the virus at all. On the way to my hotel, the taxi driver says he saw the news. It said there are very few cases of infected patients. The driver says the experts also announced that the virus would not pass from human to human, so no need to worry about that. The 
，有限人传人的可能，但持续人传人的风险较低。There is a pedestrian street next to my hotel. The night bazaar is so crowded, and most people are not worried. I'm wearing a mask, and I'm getting strange looks from the crowd. A stall owner asks me to take it off. He says, "You are obviously an overworried outsider. Everything is fine here. You should not believe in those online rumors." Already, social media was reporting the disease. With much more information than official sources, after hearing this, I almost begin to disbelieve my own judgment. They have no idea what's going on or how bad it is. They've been kept in the dark. Yang realizes the virus is serious. But he can't imagine that everything will change in three days. Yang gets a taxi to Huanan Market and records a discussion with the driver. <laughs> <音>就是造成的老百姓的伤亡的情况下还是没有非典的那么快但是他我估计他可能就是死亡的案例可能就几乎还是个人体质原因哎呀真是这疾病的玩意啊真是说不准又是天灾啊还是人祸北京也有北
，真的假的？真的呀，还有假的呀？找公安、啊，你找那个准备过来，公安过来，那准备过来，让你进来，你都你。His ID is taken to the Public Security Bureau. It has agents that enforce social order across China. They take me to a police vehicle on location. Yang is held for over an hour. 他那个哪儿我证件不知道跑哪儿去了，不会，在这里证据不够。我说现在对吧？我也在想那不方便吗？好吧。The police are detaining me illegally and restricting my freedom. 嗯，我我下去一趟，我找他去，我跟他沟通一下，坐着就完了。不是为什么把我扣在这儿？先在这坐着，等一下啊，我马上赶紧的。My legal rights mean nothing to them. 你为什么把我扣在这儿？我是想问。亲爱的，坐着完了。为什么把我扣在这里？就很简单，这个话题。我现在就不让你走，怎么了？不是你不能这样，人民警察、啊，你这个哪能这样呢？你们，哦，这你们这人不恐慌才过来，真的。In the beginning, I was only planning to do normal filming and speak to shop owners to find out the truth. But after being stopped and detained by the police, I have no choice but to film in secret to protect my own safety and my legal rights as a journalist. Yeah, check your identity. Don't want me to check. Then I'll check it down. Oh, I'll go up to him, okay? Commander, commander. Why? Why? You have to tell me why. You wait for him to come back, okay? 不是他拿我的证件下去，哪有拿人家的身份证件或者说那些带有身份证号的下去了？一溜烟不在了。放心，警察他哪里那这都。The police tell Yang that Huanan Market is now under government control. No one can enter, and they want to see his pictures. 你你照的照片可以给我们看一下吗？呃，那这个不是，那你就走不了。不是，你你什么意思？你你拍的照片我们要看一下啊，看一下确定你是拍的那个那里内容，我们宣传部的要核实一下。啊、我我会去你们宣传部，明白吗？我会去那个宣传部。你没有去之前。A woman claims to be from the Wuhan government, but doesn't identify herself. 看一下，不，你你是怎怎么称呼？对不对？现在是这样，这个地方属于是管控区，啊啊啊啊、管控区这块你来采访的这块，我还没采访呢，我就是在拍的。就是你下来拍照也好，怎么样也好，啊、因为你是这那个不是我们武汉的记者，需要从那个有函那个工作函过来。你知道吗？带、啊、了没有？哎，要有不是，你看一下新闻记者采访，谁到哪都能，哪有什么明文规定说一定要带什么采访函呢？你不是武汉市的，您是我们我我过去，对，我知道，我会跟咱们这边宣传系统去沟通。对，那您要先这个没问题，要发函要。外记者也有这个职责，同时也有这个是吧？也有社会责任，所以这个不光是对大家好，也是对您本人好。所以您过来要拍照，要怎么样也好，要有这个工作程序。就是您刚才也说了，您要到省里去或者市里去，您要把这个工作函要办好，您再过来。Before he leaves, they want to check his camera. You can't take any kind of thing, do you understand? I'll take a look. Can you take a look? Yes, there's a rule. I understand you. You also have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, He shows them the photos, but continues filming with his phone. Hey, 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 就这，就这几个。你进去过没有？我没进去啊，我到那那就被你们人给弄过来了。没收。
，这个是对你自己负责。我我知道，我这个你负责做的吗？手机拍了没有？就是相机拍了。手机没拍。哦。Yang slips his phone into a pocket. He deflects the attention of the officers. The security officers refuse to identify themselves. As I leave the market, the security officers are following and tracking me. I feel powerless. I go to the government publicity department to demand my rights to report. They tell me that I do have the right to report in Wuhan, and no one should stop me. But the reality is not the same. Many Wuhan residents remain relaxed. Chen Wei is still in Beijing, where information is scarce. But news breaks that the virus is spreading. I mainly rely on the Chinese media reports. As more and more cases are confirmed, the government takes steps to control the disease. 目前，日本、泰国、韩国已经向中方通报了新型冠状病毒感染确诊病例的情况。可以告诉你的是，目前武汉的地方政府已经采取了出境离汉人员管控措施。Yang's next task is to find out how Wuhan's hospitals are coping. I'm trying to find out how the main hospital is taking in and treating infected patients. Yang fears he will be turned away if he identifies himself as a journalist. He pretends he has a fever to enter the hospital. I'm sent to an isolated zone for patients with fever. Separate from the rest of the hospital, I think it's for screening patients infected with the coronavirus. In the waiting area, Yang overhears a doctor speaking to a patient. She has been ill for ten days. Suspected patients are sent for further testing. Only then is an infected patient eligible for the isolation treatment at the hospital. This arrangement means all patients and staff are exposed to the virus. 
he walks around the hospital grounds but can't get into the isolation ward. The building with infected patients is closed off. Ambulances are bringing in more cases. The next location on his list is Wuhan Union Hospital. Again, he pretends to have symptoms. He's asked to register. They're screening patients with basic questions. Only one week earlier, the mysterious disease was named COVID-19. The testing center is a short walk away. There are so many Wuhan residents queuing to get tested for the virus. They need to make an appointment just to wait in line. Oh, just three weeks. Yeah. 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 看不好，让看一下呼吸科或者发热门诊。啊，他说人多也不好。但是症状上是没有发烧，对吧？对，没有发烧。那可能就没事，不是那个病。Because there are so many people waiting for tests and checking into the hospital, it is a long, long wait. <laughs> Wuhan residents are reporting that hospitals are unable to cope. In the evening, the doctor who led Beijing's coronavirus crisis team makes an announcement that changes everything. For Yang, the news is devastating. People now realize how important it is to protect themselves. After the doctor's confirmation, the whole city becomes nervous. Everything changes drastically overnight. After the doctor declares for the first time that the virus can pass between humans, public transport in Wuhan is suspended. Locals are wearing masks and looking very anxious. Also, very few people are out on the streets after the news came out. The whole street looks deadly cold. While most cases are in Wuhan, new infections are reported in provinces across China. In Beijing, Chen Wei's life is about to change. My supervisor calls urgently, asking me to go to Wuhan immediately. When I get off the plane at Wuhan airport, the staff are disinfecting at the exits and checking passenger temperatures. It is very intense. 目前武汉地方政府已经对出入武汉的人员加强了管控。我理解是在他们 
离开和进入的时候，可能要对他们进行一些一些检查。All the travelers are wearing masks. Everyone seems to be talking about the virus outbreak. I see faces filled with fear and worry. The station has installed infrared monitors. They've started taking temperatures at the station entrances. Only passengers with normal temperatures are allowed inside. Those with fever are taken away by station personnel to do further checks. I take a taxi to my hotel. The driver talks about the virus. He tells me many cases were discovered in the past two days. In the streets, almost everyone is wearing a mask. Some people in Wuhan are very worried, and they're starting to leave. I learn that many residents are warning their relatives and friends not to go back. Now the city is in panic. I feel that people were worry-free at first, as if nothing was happening. They are becoming nervous, fearful, and feeling powerless and lost. On social media, there are suggestions that the number of cases are underreported. Outside Jinyin Tang Hospital, families are waiting with food parcels for infected patients. Yang goes back to Huanan Seafood Market. He hoped this time he can find out more. Once I start filming, I'm told to stop and I'm taken to a police vehicle. The police tell Yang they cannot let anyone in or any goods out. Oh, now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. A Washington state resident fell ill after returning from Wuhan, China, where the outbreak began. The office in Beijing calls. Yang says he hasn't got very far in finding the source of the virus. <laughs> Yang is told by his boss to stay in line. My boss instructed me not to do any investigations of my own. Everything should strictly follow the official party line. Any stories of the virus which are not in favor of the government must be approved by the party. Chen Wei also begins her investigation in food markets. 
She's heard that it's hard to gather information about the virus. My focus is undercover filming for my investigation. I was sent here to look into the wildlife trade in Wuhan. Dr. Chong Nanchan said the new coronavirus probably originated from eating wild animals. Chen Wei pretends to be a restaurant owner seeking wild animals, which are considered a delicacy for a New Year's feast. The shop owners say the expert is wrong. They have been eating wild animals for so many years without any problems. Yang is going back to Huanan Market for the third time. Along the way, he notices more people wearing face masks. Uh. Yang has obtained permission to film from the government publicity department. I am confident that I will be able to report this time. It is January 22nd, and I'm at Huanan Seafood Market, south entrance. That is the office. Today, everyone is wearing masks. We see there's a police car here. It's an on-site command unit. The atmosphere is so intense. A lot of plainclothes police and uniformed security personnel are around the market. And if we zoom in, we can see officers working in there. It has been sealed off. No one is allowed in. Even though I tell the market staff and police that I have permission from the government publicity department, they still stop me from filming. What they're doing is against Chinese law. Five police officers surround me and block my camera.
By now, 15 provinces across China are affected. The World Health Organization cannot decide if the outbreak is an international public health emergency. The views of the members of the committee, considering the information provided, was split. Obviously, you need to take it seriously, but this is not a major threat for the people in the United States, and this is not something that the citizens of the United States right now should be worried about. We are now at the Wuhan Medical Treatment Center also known as Jinyintan. This hospital is now solely designated for the treatment of COVID-19 cases. Despite obtaining permission to film, he is again prevented from entering. A woman with elderly relatives is also waiting at the gates. The hospital won't let Mei Ling's 78-year-old grandfather in. Mei Ling tells me her grandfather was tested at the Wuhan Central Hospital. The hospital said there were no more beds left and asked her to bring her grandfather here for inpatient treatment. A guard returns to say they need a document before her granddad is allowed in. Again, they are told to wait. Mailing wonders if Yang has any influence. She turns to the guard. Yang asks the guards to help. The guard tells Yang to stop filming. He again says he has permission. Mei Ling shows the guard her grandfather's medical records.
The family is not complaining to me. The family is trying to tell me more about their situation. Two officers keep us apart. Okay,去找党办吗？现在。啊？那怎么不等吧？你说说说。他现在挺忙的，快出来了。你把我带去党办，他们就不会，不会拉住。你在这，他害我，我能，我这个闪电，我我放你身上吗？兄弟，想多了
at 10 a.m., Wuhan is in lockdown. All public transport shut down and taxi stop service. Due to medical reasons, residents don't I ended up staying for over 80 days. It has not yet become a global health emergency. It may yet become one. Are there words about a pandemic at this point? No, we have it totally under control. It's one person coming in from China. It's uh, going to be just fine. People start panic buying and stockpiling. I talk to nurses and doctors in the isolation wards. During lockdown, Chen is only allowed to film with government approval. The controls get tougher. I cannot get any real updates because of the restrictions. I can't report with freedom as long as the government institutions are involved. I'm constantly followed and spied on. I think there are many more infected patients in Wuhan than the number of confirmed cases. The official number is a fake number, far from the truth. The death of so many Wuhan residents infected with COVID-19, the hopelessness of suffering without medical help, all these never leave my mind.